Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I make New York City based adventure videos spiked with love and positivity. In today's video, I'll be answering 20 questions about me so that you could get to know me better. All right, let's get started. Question number one is, what made you want to start YouTube? So I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for a pretty long time. Funny story, the other day I was going through my phone, just kind of clearing out memory, deleting old videos, old photos, old notes that I didn't need anymore. And I stumbled upon this note from 2014 that said YouTube channel description on it. And I hadn't even realized that it had been that long since I had the initial idea to start a YouTube channel. So since 2014, that's I'm not that great at math, but I think that's eight years ago. From eight years ago, that's when I started thinking about what it would be like for me to start a YouTube channel. But I think back then I just didn't know what I was going to be talking about. And within the past few months, I've really begun brainstorming what my channel should be about. And I decided to take the plunge and just do it. So now I have more clarity and what made me want to start YouTube is just the fact that I think I would be good at it. I'm full of ideas and that's really what made me want to start YouTube. I want to share all of these ideas and creative videos with you here and I hope that you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy making them. Question number two, what do you do in your free time? Okay, so this is a loaded question because I have quite a lot going on. So in my free time, I really enjoy reading. Love reading books from such a young age. I recently began crocheting. I am self-taught from YouTube. I am working on making a top and as soon as it's done, I will wear it in one of my videos. I can't wait to show you. Um, besides that, I love editing and making videos and hanging out with friends, exploring New York City. So I hope to take you along with me on these adventures that I'll have. And finally, I am interested in business. So I'm taking some business classes that I think will help me in the long run. How old are you? So I don't mind saying my age. I am almost 29. I'm turning 29 very soon. And I'm really excited about this last year of my 20s. You know, you only get to be 29 once and I really hope to make this a memorable year. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Capricorn. And yes, people who are Capricorns are known to be very stubborn, which I can be at certain times. Um, but besides that, I think it's a wonderful zodiac sign. Don't know what else to say? Comment down below if you're a Capricorn. Audience engagement, you know? What is your height? So I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'8". And if I put on any sort of shoe, a sneaker that has a little bit of a heel, a boot, high heeled stilettos, anything like that, then I'm easily 5'11". What's your background and nationality? So my parents are Romanian and Greek, which makes me Romanian and Greek. And some of the other questions that I'll be answering today will address what countries I've been to and what languages I can speak. So I won't address that here in this question. But right now I do live in New York City, even though I was born in Europe. What's your favorite food? Okay, so I'm really not picky when it comes to food. I'll eat anything as long as it's not spicy. That's the only thing I cannot eat. But in terms of a favorite food, I think I'd have to say Pad Thai. It's such a delicious dish. I can't get enough of it. Whenever I think about eating out, I always tend to go for Pad Thai. Can't go wrong with that. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. I have always loved this color since I was younger. Can't really find a reason why other than 
the fact that it is symbolic of love and passion. What's your favorite place in the world? So I think in order for me to fully answer this question, I need to go out and do some more international trips. But so far, I think my favorite place in the world that I have visited to date has to be Cancun, Mexico. And that's because the water there is amazing. It's crystal clear blue. You can see the fish at the bottom sometimes. It's warm, it's like a lagoon, not too many waves. That is my ideal perfect day at the beach. And of course the resorts there are wonderful, all-inclusive resorts, which means you get all the food and drinks you could ever possibly want. The atmosphere is so nice and relaxed and it is my favorite place in the world to just go and relax and have a fantastic vacation. Do you have any siblings? No, I don't. I'm an only child, which is why I don't know how to share anything. Just kidding. Um, I don't have any siblings, although I do wish that I had one. I think it's so nice to have someone similar to your age who you can grow up with and really share experiences with and know that they're there for you when they are your family. I think that would have been really nice, but Growing up, a lot of my friends had siblings and always complain about their siblings and, you know, all that funny stuff when you're younger, um, getting into arguments and sharing toys and all that. Um, so growing up, I did want siblings because a lot of my friends had siblings. But now that I'm older, I think I've gotten really comfortable with being an only child and I'm completely okay with it. What's your favorite genre of music? My favorite genre would have to be pop, R&B, alternative rock. I know I said three instead of one, but just like with food, I don't have a specific type of food that I have to eat all the time. I'm open to everything and I will eat everything. It's kind of like that with music too. I'll listen to everything. Um, and so these three genres though are my absolute favorite. Why should you subscribe to my channel and what is my channel going to be about? So I just made a video about what my channel is about. I am going to be making New York City based adventure videos spiked with love and positivity. And this channel is for everyone, not just if you want to come visit the city or if you've been here before or have family here. This channel is really for everyone anything you're interested about in New York City, I will probably be covering on my channel. And I also hope to build a really nice international community and document the last year of my 20s and beyond. So that's what my channel is going to be about. Um, and you should subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have amazing videos coming out every single Thursday and you don't wanna miss a single one of my adventures. Oh, this is a good question. What is your favorite movie? Okay. One of my favorite movies of all times is Blades of Glory. If you haven't seen the movie, you should definitely watch it. Will Ferrell, one of my favorite actors, is in this movie. And the scenes are just laugh out loud hilarious. You can't get through this movie with a straight face. I'm such a big fan of comedies and I love so many other movies, but this one has to be my absolute favorite. So please go watch it if you haven't seen it already. What countries have you visited? Okay, this is such a great question, but I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit. So I have been to Canada. Uh, I know I went to visit Niagara Falls in Canada and I have been to Mexico, in particular Cancun. Besides that, I visited England and went to London for a study abroad trip when I was in college. I've been to France, Romania, and Italy, all in Europe. And practically all of Europe is on my to visit list. I wanna see so many countries and I wanna travel uh, to Europe 
but then I hope to expand out to other continents as well. How many piercings do you have? I just have two piercings for my earrings. That's it, no other piercings. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't have any tattoos. I don't really know what I would want to get on my body. So that's why I haven't got any tattoos. Although I do love the tattoo that I think it's Jessica Biel got and she has a, an outline of a dove. I think that's really beautiful and delicate, but no tattoos. What's your favorite and worst subject in high school? Okay, so for me, my absolute favorite subject was biology. I got the material, it, it kind of just made sense to me. I was always fascinated about the human body and what, how many things can go wrong, but that don't. Our bodies are incredible and biology always fascinated me. And the more you dive deeply into biology and science in general, the more questions you have. So I had a great appreciation for that subject and still do today. And now as for my worst subject in high school, it has to be math. I mean, we had a pretty cool high school math teacher but math and numbers just really never made sense to me. Um, I did okay in class, but it wasn't my favorite subject to run to, as opposed to biology, how I always looked forward to the class and our teacher was so interactive and fun and just really made the class very interesting. Next question is, do you drink tea or coffee? For me, I'd have to say neither. Coffee, don't like the taste of it. It's too bitter for me. Ugh, I can't do coffee. And as for tea, it kind of reminds me of being sick because I would always drink tea when I had a cold. So I don't do either one. I'm gonna have to say no to both for this question. I mostly just prefer to drink water. Just keep it simple. An occasional juice every now and then, but no coffee or tea. What's your favorite book? Okay, my favorite book. This is a tough one because I can't say that one particular book changed my life and it was amazing. I've read so many good ones. I'm actually gonna pull a few right now and show them to you. So, okay, so there are so many books that I have. First, I want to say that I enjoy mystery books. So any Agatha Christie book has a check mark right beside it for me. I love Agatha Christie books. Um, besides that, I got into autobiographies a while ago, any sort of autobiography about um, a celebrity or a public figure. I enjoyed reading that. Um, recently though, I read these three books that I really enjoyed. This one is called Plain Truth by Jodi Picoult and it's about the Amish and really teaches you a lot about their culture and it's such an eye-opening book, also a mystery, which is why I love it so much. Uh, I'm not going to give away too much about what it's about in case you want to read it, but really highly recommend it. It's It just keeps you right there on the page and you don't want to put it down. Um, the other good book that I read is called The Art Forger by B.A. Shapiro. And this one taught me a lot about art. So you might notice the general theme of these books that teach you something. I love that so much. And I learned a lot about art restoration and paintings and it is based off of um, it's based off of the famous heist at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, um, which as you may have heard about, it's one of the largest unsolved art thefts in history. So it's kind of based upon that, but not talking about that heist specifically, but it's, it's a spinoff off of that. 
And then just for um, a historical book, for instance, that I read, uh, this one, The Other Bowling Girl by Philippa Gregory is such a good book. It's a long one, uh, but highly recommend it if you're interested in history and really recounting the lives of these characters that you hear about in your history class. And it puts it together in a really personal way. So you truly get to know the characters deep at their core. So those are some of uh, my favorite books. Uh, but like I said, I, I'm, I read a lot and there are so many other books that I could be talking about right now too. All right, getting down to the last question. Do you speak different languages and how well? Yes, besides English, I also speak Romanian and I have to say I'm pretty decent at it. Although um, I don't know what my other family members would say when they hear me speaking it because it sounds like I speak Romanian with an American accent. Even though Romanian was the first language that I spoke, because I now speak English more and my thoughts come to me in English and I express myself better in the English language, I've now adopted an English accent when I speak Romanian. So it's quite funny uh, when Romanian people hear me speaking, they'll know that there's something funny about my accent. So it's a cute quirk. What can I say? I can't really get rid of the accent, but I speak it fluently. I know Romanian expressions and I can fully understand it if someone else is speaking to me in Romanian. All right, and now I will leave you with a bonus question since you have stuck around to the end of this video. Question number 21 is what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the sheep. I think they're so cute, really adorable. When they're small, especially all cute and fluffy and uh, they're just such nice animals. I, I have not grown up on a farm though, so I don't really know the ins and outs of taking care of sheep and the problems that they may cause, but from afar, they're really cute. And now if you have any further questions that you'd like me to answer in another video, please leave them down in the comment section down below. Please share this video with your friends or anyone else you think would enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every Thursday. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.